morning, fine people of the internet, and welcome back to Maverick Baking. If you're new here, my name is Kelly, and on this channel we talk about all things sweet. And complain a lot as well. <laughs> Today we are reviewing a product that has taken the UK confectionery market by storm. It's one that isn't unexpected, but is perhaps a good 10 years overdue, in my opinion. In a world where chocolate orange imposters are popping up all over the place, from Cadbury to Mars, everyone's trying to get in on a piece of that zesty chocolate action. Terry's said, no, no son, this is my territory. So without further drama, I would like to introduce you to the Terry's white chocolate orange. I honestly don't really know why it's taken so long for this product to be released. A Terry's chocolate orange for anyone who is not based in the UK or has never had the opportunity to taste something similar. This is essentially an orange shaped chocolate thing that is flavoured with orange oil. Typically it comes in milk chocolate and is incredibly sweet, usually something to do with the Christmas period and is fairly universally loved here in the UK. Initially, Obviously, my inner child is incredibly excited because I have been eating Terry's chocolate orange around this time of year, every single year, probably since my birth. <laughs> my reservation, however, as with all chocolate nowadays, is that I do imagine this is going to be tooth achingly sweet. But that's kind of what you're signing up for when you buy a solid sphere of white chocolate. <laughs> so today we are going to be tasting this, reviewing it, and letting you know whether it is worth your hard-earned cash this year. The wrapping has been pretty similar for at least the 20 years I can remember having eaten these, and there's always that familiar orange oil waft that's just flowing out of this foil, and the campness, the drama, I just love it. If this is the first time you've experienced watching or seeing a Terry's chocolate orange, please do let me know in the comments because the thought of someone getting to experience this for the first time fills me with joy. <laughs> and we unveil the beauty that is inside. Oh, that smell. It smells, I must say, almost identical to the milk version. It doesn't smell particularly white chocolatey or vanilla-y. Our ingredients obviously begin with sugar, followed by cocoa butter, milk powder, whey powder, which is usually never a good thing in chocolate. It can make it very powdery and a bit protein powder-ish. It also contains an emulsifier, vanilla flavoring, and orange oil. So straight off the bat, we know this is not a high quality chocolate, so I won't be judging it based on that. This is not among the ranks of heist chocolate, of the Cocoa Runners chocolate I speak about. This is a sweet, treat. You must always break into a chocolate orange the same way, with violence, <laughs> and that way it separates out all of its gorgeous little segments. So again, I will just show you a little close-up if this is your first time here, or this is your first time trying a Terry's product. We have this lovely white chocolate orange segment, right down to the kind of pattern around the edge. It's something I'll always really admire them for. It smells lovely and orangey, is it gonna be good? Let's find out. Hmm. As I'm sure you can imagine, the first and pretty much the exclusive flavor that assaults the tongue is that orange flavor, followed by an immense wave of salivating sweetness. The orange flavor is so iconic in these because they use that orange oil which if you've been around the channel for a while, you will have heard me speak about before. It adds a gorgeous natural orange flavor, the kind you would get from a freshly squeezed orange or if you just grated some orange zest. The smell that kind of fills the air is little particles of that orange oil spurting out and it's such a great fresh flavor. The problem I have here is that normally the richness of milk chocolate kind of mellows that out and they balance each other well. You have a little bit of cocoa flavor and sweetness and the zesty orangey flavor. Here, honestly, all I taste is sugary orange, which isn't inherently problematic, but because the chocolate is offering so little in taste or in texture, I kind of feel like I may as well be eating orange flavored sweets like Starburst or Skittles, you know? If I wanted that intense orangey hit with none of the kind of chocolate flavor, I would just buy some sweets because that 
is what this is evoking for me. While understandably white chocolate is never the most kind of laced with flavour, I do like some creaminess from the texture. From this though, I'm just getting the same kind of bland nothingness from the texture. It doesn't melt particularly well, you do actively have to chew it for this to be consumed and when you do there is that kind of background chalkiness from the milk powder and the whey powder. It's something you also see in mainstream chocolates such as Cadbury and maybe some own brand supermarket chocolate for example. Brands like Galaxy do balance it out with vegetable oil. Whether that's a good thing or not is questionable though. I think if this upped the vanilla, upped the cocoa powder to kind of give it that luxury, that melting creamy texture and the vanilla to provide some actual white chocolate flavour because white chocolate is a flavour let's be honest this it's just kind of ugh. it's giving pretty much what I expected you know anyone buying this not wanting to taste orange would be a little bit of a fool let's be honest but I think you do still want some kind of delivery from that white chocolate seeing as it's here you may as well, you know? <laughs> so on that basis, I would say that while it does pretty much deliver what it's advertising, it's not anywhere near on par with the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate, Terry's chocolate orange, which kind of balance each other out and provide more flavor than just orange. That being said, if the only thing you like about a Terry's chocolate orange is the shape, the novelty and the orange flavour, knock yourself out. This will hit every one of those spots for you. So, you know, as always, the packaging is good and classic. It's a novelty. It feels Christmassy. It feels special. You get a good weight of chocolate and distribution of chocolate for the price. And it does taste of orange. The only way it's missing the mark is on the taste and texture of the actual chocolate. So based on that, I'm going to give this a three out of five. Nothing bad, nothing particularly great. If you guys have tasted the Terry's White Chocolate Orange or any of these other new chocolate orange products, do let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts. Am I being harsh? Are my expectations too high? Or are we all just really sick of basic chocolate orange products? <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, do not forget to hit that little like button on your way out of the door and consider subscribing if you would like to see more chocolatey or baking content. I'm producing at least one video every week and it would be lovely to see you again. In the meantime, that is all I have time for today, lovely people of the internet. So I will see you for the next one.